In this video, I want to share some ideas of learning games and activities for your toddler or preschooler. Some people call activities like this busy bins or busy bags, and you can use them that way, just something to keep your child busy or give them independent time. Um, or you can use them as teaching tools and do them with your child. So let's get started. As I'm putting away these ones he worked on last week, I wanted to show you these ones quickly. And then I'll also show you the ones he's working on this week. So that'll just give you more ideas of different activities you can put in these boxes. So this one is a fine motor activity. This is called Lace and Trace. Um, this one is from Melissa and Doug. There are other options, I'm sure, but it's just wood with holes and then a shoelace. So they have to work on their fine motor skills of holding the shoelace, guiding it through, picking it on the other side, and then pulling it all the way through. Okay, so takes quite a bit of coordination. We don't think about it as, as adults, but um, just a really good activity for preschoolers working on their fine motor skills. That's gonna help them develop that writing strength in their hand. Um, before I had these, I just made some. So if you don't wanna purchase something new, you can just simply find any picture online, um, laminate it, and then punch holes through it anywhere and just find an old shoelace. So it's that simple to just make something at home. Okay, and then we also had number cards. So it was numbers through 10, and he was just working on identifying the number. So we had the dot patterns on the back, so he would count them up and then say the number. And then we were doing some flash games and trying to get him to to be able to identify him fast. So I would hold it up a little bit and then I would take it away and see if he could say it. So working on numbers. And then we had this pattern activity. Um, these are just bear counters and you can really find these kind of counters that any educational store would have them. Um, anywhere online, there's a ton of different uh, animals or cars or all kinds of things you can use. It's also learning resources, so I'll link down below if you're interested. So it's just working on patterns. So there's small bears and big bears, and then they figure out what comes next. So I'll have him warm up with this, and then he'll do the other side and then find what's next. And then I kind of slide this to the side and I have him come up with his own pattern. So we might do big red, big blue, big red, big blue. And then for the letter activity, we had these, um, just these flash cards that I honestly don't remember where I found, but I will try to find that out so I can link it down below for you. Um, I'm sure there's similar things at like any Dollar Tree, the little section in Target that's got a bunch of different stuff. So it has the letters, the picture and the name. Um, these are pretty good. Some of the letters I'm not super thrilled with. Um, they, like on the vowels, they try to have the short vowel sound and the long vowel sound. This letter doesn't. However, then the I, the I has iron, so long vowel, and ice cream, so long vowel again. So that one doesn't have the short vowel. So they're not perfect, but yeah, so you'll say house and they will come up with the beginning letter based on the sound. And then just a book, we always have a book in there. This is a great fine motor activity to build up their hand muscles, which helps them hold a pencil when they start writing. All right, this is another activity working on counting. Um, there are 10 little of these penguins and he's just counting one by one. And this is good for just the basic numbers and counting and really that one to one as they're counting, they'll move it and then they really get that visual because sometimes kids will double count items as they're counting. So 
by physically moving it as they count, then they just get more of a conceptual grasp on that. And there's lots of different things you can do. You can work on the color so I can tell and put on the um, blue penguin or we can do, he's got some other ones, colors, and so we can work on patterns with the colors as well. So just different ideas you can do. This is the letter activity that he's working on this week. So it's just a simple matching puzzle. He's got the uppercase and the lowercase, and then it, it matches with a picture. <clears throat> so then he can work on the sound that that letter makes. What letter did you find? And what sound does it make? Good job. So he's still working on all of his sounds. He can match them, but um, we're still working on the sounds that they make. So this is a great activity to help with that. Okay, some of the other ones we have in here, I'm just gonna go through quickly. I always try to have some kind of a math activity and this roll and build game. I have a dice video that I'll link and you can go see more of how to do that. But basically you roll, find the letter, and then you build a tower that has that many um, blocks in it. And so that's a fun one that he's doing this week too. And then we always have a book in there. And this he'll, I'll read it with him and then he'll go through um, and look at it and kind of tell the story to himself using the picture. So this is the one I usually, I kind of switch off sometimes. I pick them and then sometimes he picks them. This is the one he chose. I hope you found a new idea or two to try with your kids. If you like this video and you want more math, reading and writing activity ideas, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and you can hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching and have a great day.